Okay, inside my truck. I'm 6'4 and tall it is. The base is a lumber rack. As you can see, I know it's kind of dirty, but oh well. Lumber rack goes all the way on up there. Over the cab too. This is some sturdy wood. Same sturdy wood right here. Going from there to the back so I can have some stuff on there. Over the cab. Got some more oil, laundry, box of vitamins. 100 amp hour battery. Some tin foil asphalt shingling. I'm putting on the edges of my camper. I'm still working on my camper. Primer, battery in case my truck starts, or truck doesn't start. Bag dirty clothes. Of course, my bag of parts to fix my truck. My CFX 50, Dominic. Pillows to cushion it. Moving blankets on the bottom. Strapped down with ratchets. And ratchets, same with the battery ratchet. And here's my meter to see how many amps my Dominic fridge is pulling. I never see my voltage get below 12.4 volts. And it's 9.30 right now and it's 12.6. So overnight I wake up it's never below 12.4. Here is my drawer set. Shorts, shirts, this stuff, this stuff, toothbrush. I got like this punji gourd idea. You know, I just kind of pull open and doesn't let these things slide out when I'm driving. On top, I just kind of keep my, just my keys and my sweater, and my lamp over here, and just put the stove here, cast iron, skillet just use that for the first time spatula on the roof is these Renology I got 200 watts total but totally overdid it get by the 100 watts for sure and some insulation a gorilla glued up to protect it from my stove and my heater down here heater buddy got 20 gallon propane tank in here just hanging there with the Y one goes to the Hue Buddy, one goes to the propane stove. And again, this lumber rack is really the, the frame, the main frame. I got these two by threes going down, bolted down with some U bolts. One bar going across here, and same thing on the bottom. You kind of see down there going from there to there just keep it square and then I got these spacers right here to go out to this wood right here because I wanted a little bit hanging over the bumper and I got this door right here some pretty good hinges and a house deadbolt and I got this fairly large It's backing for tile, and you could see how thin it is, fairly thin, and that's a six foot long stainless steel hinge. So this whole entire thing right here holds on out. Same down here, I got these little things holding this thing up, same wood, got the same six foot long stainless steel hinge frame so it doesn't warp. This thing folds out. Got some weather stripping right there. And right now I just got it held in by, of course I like my ratchets. Got a ratchet right there too for this front part. Back here I just tie it. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much my thing. Got a propane leak sensor back there. Because all, I guess all RVs have them, but... I don't know, it's kind of unnecessary. Cost me 80 bucks. Carbon monoxide detector there. 
something. I got this open back here. I'm, I like to have these things open back here. And it open right there too. So when I back up, I can see where I'm going. It helps me out. Again, it's a little bit shady, but you know, I mean, I I could cover it up, but I like that I can see when I back out. You know, I got Velcro for my cloth there. And I'm sitting on my bed.